Oh, it's time. It's time for the downright cringe. The Saints are a bunch of millennials having brunch. Take this scene for example, never mind the fact that Eli is laying down on the table like a little schoolgirl, or never mind the absolutely atrocious voice actor of the boss. Snickerdoodle is definitely down. It's just the fact that these are not the Third Street Saints. No matter how you put it, this scene right here is not Saints Row. I just can't help but make comparisons to the old characters, and quite frankly, they'd laugh in these new Saints' faces. I don't think I'm the only one who feels this way too. Overall, the game is looking set to be your standard Saints Row adventure, with less interesting characters. Apparently there's an app on your phone that you use to make bad reviews on restaurants in-game, which is, uh, yeah, there's that. Kevin is quite possibly the most cringe out of the bunch. I think in just the short time these outlets spent playing the game, I could make a Kevin cringe compilation from some of the lines shown off so far. This is how you do business! That's right, man, we're local! I like the sound of that. Ooh, I'm gonna post about it. Yada yada da, yada da da da. Hashtag take me to church, hashtag new digs who this, hashtag blessed. Dinner and a show, baby. Oh, <laughs> and you know how we should celebrate afterwards. Karaoke! Yes! It's safe to say that the idols make me cringe every time they say something. You and your friends are obsolete. I get that they tried to go for the whole cult vibe with this, but I just can't help but think of Watch Dogs 2 every time I see their stupid helmets. But it just, it, it screams Watch Dogs 2 to me. Like the feel of it, everything. I don't know why, but it does. Idols are already insufferable. The whole Gen Z Zoomer vibe they got going on is just terrible in my opinion. In fact, the only good thing about the idols is the fact that we get to kill them. 